And today we are talking about more Predator. Because as I've told Polly before, you can never have too much Predator in one's life. And today we're talking about the Audible book, Eyes of the Demon. I'm a little late putting this out. It came out uh, about a month ago. Because, you know, I'm just raw jolly on the spot here. But I wanted to take a lot of time with this one. I wanted to listen to it a few times, really dig into the stories, listen to them. And then work on my way through them. Because I did have a lot of fun with these audiobooks when it comes to stuff like Predator and Alien. I've done reviews over on the blog site. I did one for uh, Bug Hunt. I did one for um, Alien vs. Predator Ultimate Prey. So, going to this one, I was really excited, really hyped, because, of course I am. I like Predator a lot, as you can tell. I've been talking about it pretty much this whole year. So, I also got to go out there. Uh, spoiler warning, I guess. I'm going to do my very best at talking about these stories. I'm going to give each one of them a grade. And three of them I'll talk more about. And I, when I say talk more about, I don't mean I'm going to be doing deep dives into this. Real loose, real just glossary discussion talks about them. Because I want to keep the magic alive for as long as possible for whoever wants to go back and check out the audiobooks for themselves, because I think you should. I'll just say it outright. You, you should check this one out. It is really good. You got a lot of dedicated authors who, re who can really see the love they have for them. And I'll give them a shout out now. I'll shout out the author. I'm going to shout out the narrators who worked on the project. And then we'll jump into the stories. All right, let's go with the authors first, because there are 15 of them in this collection of stories. Starting with, we've got Tim LeVon, Stephen Graham Jones, Thomas Schmidt, Stop. If I mess up your name, I am very sorry. I am very bad at this. Linda A. Addison, or Linda D. Addison, Amar Habib, Jonathan Mayberry, Kim May, Robert Greenberg, Gina Koch, Peter Briggs, A. R. Reddington, Michael Kogi, Joshua Pruitt, Devon Navarro, and Scott Sigler. And, like I said, this audible narrations all over the place. We got Bradford Hastings, Kevin Kernerly, Trey Burns, Joe Hempel, Hillary Huber, Neil Shaw, John McLean, Sarah Mello Christensen, Lucy Rainier, Stacy Gonzalez, and Natalie Nottis. Now, let's deep into the stories. Like I said, there's 15 of them. I'm going to give them a quick grade, quick little sentences here or there. Three of them, I'm going to go into deep dive at the very end. You'll see why I picked them when I give them the grade. Uh, we start off with the Titan. It's gonna be. It's a good way to get the ball rolling. You get a good little backstory with this character and how they're involved with the Alucha and why this is happening to him. I really like the intricate way of this being worked and why this is happening. You get the distance in their eyes. Uh, this was a good little again a good little introduction. What they do in a lot of these stories, if you didn't know, if you've never heard of it, you not just get the human side of it, but you do sometimes get a. Uh, POV from the Yahucha Predator and the distance in their eyes was a good way to introduce you into that side of the stories. And then you get Aftermath. I've learned a lot of these in, in comics world too. They really like using Dutch. They really like bringing you Dutch back. And I think that dark. the Aftermath might be the best use of Dutch since we've seen him in the Predator. I'm going to give it a B plus. And we got Proving Grounds. This is an A. I love this story. Anytime you really get a deep dive into the Yawucha culture, I'm all for it. And this did it really well. You're dead Good lord. Knock it off. <laughs> Line of the Himalayas. It's B. It's fine. It, it was a nice little story. The fix is in. A, and I don't know why I'm giving it an A. You, you did. This was a returning character for people who have read Predator or listen to Predator if it bleeds. We got Fix back. I don't know how you guys did it. This was so well done for what it was and what happens in this story. And I really want to see Fix come back. Uh, Bitter Hunt. That's good God. S tier will be back. Build Trip A. Oh, this was, this was fun. I, I enjoyed the hell out of Field Trip. Uh, with what you're gopping back and forth between the Ocha 
and the humans on this one. And where they end up is just wild. I loved it. Fun time. Small trip is an A. Cannon Potter, B+. Plus. We had an introduction of some legendary... Not the legendary characters themselves from the movies, but follow-ups from them. I would love to see them carry on with the story. They made some interesting choices here, and when we get to the outreach side of it, there was really interesting choices that I really enjoyed. I would love to see them carry on with the story too. Uh, Little Miss Nightmare, uh, can't call it a B plus. I can't remember if I said it. Little Miss Nightmare is S. Holy moly, we'll be back to that one too. That was a lot of fun. I howled laughing at a lot of Little Miss Nightmare. The trophy is another one. It's an A. It would have been a B plus, but the narrator that they got for the trophy is so good that it propped it up to an A. Uh, the monster. It. This this is my opinion. Fully my opinion. So, I think the monster for people who read who listen and read this is going to be a very divisive one. This might be the divisive one in the lot. For me, in my take, in my likes, this is a D. I really did not enjoy the monster. Ghost story, B plus, enjoyable story, enjoyable narrator. We're going to talk about the ghost story here in a little bit. Uh, slide dark in the daylight. Oh, this was wild. This was a wild trip. It's an S top tier story. Uh, then we got Dead Man's Switch. Dead Man's Switch was the last story in this compilation. I had this Dead Man Switch not have been the last one, I may have given it a little higher because of the end, I think irritated me, but I think that's the point. It was a good kind of irritation. But the fact that he left off on that, and that's the final story in this, I think that hurt it and it brought it down to a C. Had this switched with Ghost Story or Sly Dark in the Daylight, it would have been better off but I think Dead Man Switch does leave all this on a bad note. Alright, let's talk about the three. The gold, the medalists will call it. Three, two, one, starting with number three, Sly Dark in the Daylight. This was a roller coaster of a story, short story, and it starts off pretty quickly. They're introducing you to the characters, and then the moment it goes, it doesn't stop. This hunter is speed running these kills. And then when you're going through and you're reasoning why this is happening and what he's doing, it's like, oh, oh shit, no. But it's, it ends really well. It ends on a high note, so, sort of, as high as it could for this, what they do here. It's really enjoyable. It's number, this is the third best of the bunch. A good way to go. Then number two, we got Little Miss Nightmare. This was a lot of fun. I, parts of this had me howling. Uh, Peter Briggs. He gave us a different style of Yaucha that they keep having middling success with in the movies. His Yaucha is different because they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing, but they do it in such a fun way, such an interesting way of introducing this Yaucha and what they're doing. To answer their question, yes, yes, we should be. Uh, and, um,. He also brought in another, he reintroduced an element from the movies that we haven't seen since Predator 2, I believe. And that's the fact that both of them, like the Jungle Hunter and the City Hunter, they came during the heat waves. Like the Predator, Predator Zoucha, they hunt in the heat and they make reference throughout as how hot it was here. And I thought that was a lot of fun to be reminded of that from them. But uh, on the ending note of this was such a blast, I will laugh every God damn time. I want Rick I want to see more Rickon. Bring me more Rickon, please. But it fell just short of what came in a number one, and that is a bitter hunt. Kim May put together an excellent story, just masterclass storytelling. You're giving you a hunt that's like, oh, this is gonna be so much fun. You're we're doing this. But then as you go along and you get closer to the main... This is all Yaucha, this story. All Yaucha. And as you're getting to know what's happening and the fun is like, Oh no, this is this is what's happening. This is why she's here. And it's like, oh, this is heartbreaking stuff. And it's just so good. You could take this script, move the setting to Earth, and you would have 
just add some human elements here or there, and you would be able to just make this movie. And it would be a wonderful movie. You can make this the best story of the lot, thoroughly entertaining throughout, with a deep motion running through them when you pick up what's happening. It's great all the way through. I've listened to this so many times already. And my final grade for the book, the audiobook itself, is an ass. This is great. Go check this out, especially if you're into the Predator world and their what's culture and the Predator stuff. This is a lot of fun. It gives you 15 great stories, top to bottom, S tier. I'm going to bookmark that as my ending here. Because there's one issue I have, and I think it's more on the audible side than the book writer's side, the book side. That's um, how they handle the narrators here. There are so many of these stories that I think are uplifted by the narration. Sly, Day in the Dark Lights, one of them, I didn't bring that up. Um, the Trophy is another one. Lifted, boosted by the narrator. Same with um, Bitter Hunt. But I don't know who it was, who the narrators were. They just give me a list of narrators that narrated it at the end, in the opening credits. That's it. Like, I, I thought maybe they were listed in order, but no. I'm on the website, they just give me the list of narrators. I'd like to know what narrators narrated the story. Just let them say their names at the beginning, please. But that's it. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a good day. Bye-bye.